Hi and welcome to the Tech Master Assist YouTube channel. My name is Jules and today I'd like to show you uh, a free online system which allows you to take full control of a remote PC, laptop, server. Um, if you go to the website logmein.com it will redirect you to a page like this and it will be a secure page completely secure and um, what what you need to do to start with is create an account now that will require an email address so we click the big green button and we key in an email address now it, it must be a valid address uh, because you'll need to verify that this is a genuine account I made a typo there Password. It gives you six days to verify, but um, you'll only have six days in which to use the use the service if it's not a genuine email address. So we've keyed in the information there. I'm in the UK, so United Kingdom. Uh, you can tick on the on this option. I will use log me in for IT support but you get asked a whole load more questions so for this demonstration purpose we're just going to click continue there so first thing it's going to do is say please download and install the software to the machine you're on now that's required to remotely control the machine that you're installing this on so there it is okay we can click here to run the installation run preparing to install click next next terms of conditions I suggest you have a good read through there just to make sure you understand fully what this entitles you to do and what you are not allowed to do ie do not use it to hack other computers and other activities of that kind. It's all that. There we go. I agree. Accept the typical. This is the computer name that I'm using. You can put that put in there whatever you like. Next. Now this next one is the sort of like a second password. This is the password that enables you to use the log me in service on the remote machine so I'm going to put that in there okay click next we're going for the free version Password. that's the password associated with the email address you've keyed in at the beginning click next and next okay this can take a little while to install and as you can see it's doing various things but there we go launch log me in when finished that's fine click finish uh, what that's done is installed and started the service. Because the software runs as a service. Uh, we're not worried about what's on that screen for now, so we just close that. And that's it, the software in is installed on this laptop. I'm using a laptop and it's installed on this machine. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you access this machine or a machine like it from the log me in web page okay we're back to the original log me in screen and here you enter the email address you've specified this is a slightly different one because I've got this all set up ready and the password and click log me in so what it's going to do straight away is show you the machine that you've added to that account there's a machine I've added to the account I've just logged into 
So we click on that and this is what you get next, connecting. And now this is the username and password of the machine that you want to connect to. Type that in. And it's connecting. Here we go. Okay. Log in. And there we go, it's logging in using the credentials which I've just typed in. And there you have it. Uh, there's the desktop of the machine you've remotely connected to and you do absolutely anything you need to do. You can restart the machine, shut it down, anything. What I usually use it for is to view the event logs, if there's been errors or just try and get to the bottom of what I need to fix. You can, well, you can see the additional features that the Pro version offers you all down here, which you get for 30 days. After 30 days, you're just left with the standard three or four options. To be quite honest, most of these facilities you've already got through other applications, so you're not going to miss them. Um, the main one is the remote desktop. The remote, the remote control remains. So. That's what you've got. You can click there and you've got more of a screen. You can go to full screen if you wish. You can hide the controls. But basically you've got full control over the remote machine you've connected to. And if you want to leave the machine running, you can simply, in its current state, you can simply just click disconnect. And there you go. You're back as you were and carry on. So there you have it. I hope you find this useful and uh, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Okay thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.